All right, if you were here for yesterday's video or you've caught that video since then, you saw that I was dehydrating an Italian tomato sauce. So this is what it looks like once it's dry. It is crispy. So a lot of people think fr um, fruit roll-up type stuff and you know it's kind of gooey. This, you don't want gooey. So this, there is no gooeyness to it. And I'm just gonna go in that blender bottle and get mixed up so it becomes a powder. I just take this silicone. So this, I love these silicone mats. I'm trying to do this one-handed. But um, you just bend it, and it'll start to break apart. You hear the crunching. You see that? Get these nice chunks like that, and they're just gonna go in the blender bottle. Oops, or miss the blender bottle, you know. Um, and we're gonna blend them up. So let's load that bottle. Yesterday I did both of these trays. This bottle is 20 ounces, and I had it full to the 20 ounces on each of these. So 40 ounces yesterday of wet ingredients. Today. Not very full, and you guys are going to be shocked at how much this uh, lowers, gets decreases here in a second when I blend it. And there it is, all blended down. That's 40 ounces of wet that's been dehydrated and blended on down. And I'm just going to store it in a jar. It actually it smells so good, and I when I was uh, breaking up the pieces, I took some out. Um, just a small chunk. You don't need much. Anyway, I tried it and it's still like having a pizza party in your mouth. <laughs> um, so when you use this, depending on what you're using it with, start out with like anywhere from a teaspoon to like two tablespoons. Uh, imagine those packets you can buy at the store, those seasoning packets. And, you know, they don't have a whole lot of dry ingredients in it. And again, that's because when you dehydrate, it gets super stout. Um, so... That's, that's going to be many meals. It doesn't look like it's that much, but in all honesty, if I use it as a seasoning, it'll go a really, really long way. If I use it as a soup or a stew base, or if I um, use it for like making a, a sauce, I, I can add liquid to it and make sauce with this. Uh, it's got a lot of different uses, and it actually will go quite a long ways, which is, you know, it's pretty awesome. It saves you a lot of money. So that's what I do when I've just got some excess or there's a good deal on a few items at the store. And I have figured out ways to make it go longer at our house.